Mä oon pelottavi. Poikkari, mitä mä oon tehnyt. Itse asiassa voi olla parempi tuo niin ilta ja aamu siellä sitten. Yeah, we're waiting for Frederick. He's coming here in Nurkiusbotten in about one hour. And join us and we're gonna drive towards Narvik. We have a, an adventure on us. This season we've been going back and forth the same area a lot, the building towards these nice lines. But now we're gonna change the location and the area totally. I have um, absolutely no knowledge about the snow conditions, except that the avalanche forecast is showing one. That's why we're gonna go to see if it's gonna work. No idea what to expect. On no, siis jotain lunta, mutta... Tota, mä luulen, että toi ei toimi. Me ollaan liian myöhässä. Kyllä. Looks like here, maybe climbing season is starting sooner than later, I think. Mä mietin, kun sä sanoit, että tästä on seikkailumeeninkiä, niin mä en ajatella, että me ollaan laskemassa ruohikolla kuitenkaan. My goal for the whole winter has been that I want to ride in good conditions. I want to optimize the conditions the way that it's safe to ride and the snow is as good as possible. It doesn't matter if it's powder or if it's slush, but I want to be there during the time when it's good. So far I've been very successful this winter. I've ridden a sunny car center, the Flash, which have both been a very good ones. And I've been very fortunate to also ride a lot of good lines just for myself. In the middle of April, the whole Arctic was getting a lot of warm weather. It basically ruined some of the most snowiest areas. That sort of led my thinking towards Narvik. Especially in the west side, spring was already very far ahead comparing to other areas. The snow has already gone through a melt-free cycle. And when the snow goes through that, it actually can become quite fun to ride. In Finland, we call this longerokeli, which in English means grey bird or a long drink weather. But yes. Oh man, can't believe we're doing a longerokeli mission for one of the most beautiful mountains in the Arctic. <laughs> the core of Arctic lines is the list. And it consists of 30 different freeride adventures in the Arctic Circle. Just a day drive from my home. In Narvik area, there's quite a few lines that I've been wanting to do. One of them is stayed in North Kular. Almost see the peak. Stedind was voted as the national mountain of Norway. It is huge very beautiful and dramatic mountain that has more climbing routes than free riding routes. But there is a one north facing Kular that comes from the shoulder all the way down to the fjord. <laughs> I 
That ledge looks scary. The access to Stetin is actually quite simple, but the crux of the route is this big traverse on the rock slab that has an exposure underneath you and a massive wall above you. And from the distance, we could see that there had been some glide crack avalanches that had been happening on that surface. With that in mind, I was definitely a bit concerned, especially about the traverse. Oh, it, looks, uh, it looks quite good. Um, there is snow on the ramp. I believe it's soft, so I think it's quite easy to, to boot back the ramp. I think this approach will work quite well. Well, Frederick is a mountain guide, so he's a very experienced climber. And I feel like that he is, most of all, a climber. It is totally different comparing to what I'm doing. When I'm setting myself in a situation where there is an exposure that can hurt you or even worse, it is very hard not to think that what if this will slide? That would be it. Pitääkö siinä kiivetä? Ei, mä vaan katon noit kesäkiipelylinjoja. That traverse. I'm snowboarder. I was not super happy. I'm not too comfortable being a long time in an exposed spot. Frederick was just walking in the park. <laughs> I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. El Clásico. Just about to go. In Cloud. <laughs> Basic. Mahtava keli, hei. Huippu ilma. Kaikki tuolta takaa päälle suoraan niskaan. Ah. Pakko se on alas laskia kuitenkin jossakin vaiheessa, kun... Tuota, en mä kyllä tuota haikkaa takaa sitten. <laughs> Bluebird, or high cloud. And freaking storm rolling from the back. Whole time. And one kilometer other side. Nothing. Of course we're in the storm. <laughs> nyt, nyt. Hei, kerin better. Nyt, nyt. Pitää ehkä ottaa ennen kuin se rupeaa pukkaa sieltä taas. Mä menen hiljaa tää alu! Drop! Lumi ihan paskaa tässä. Vieläkin. Mä tosta niinku ihan ihme. Nyt tuus läbi ja saa. Oh my god. Ah. Ah. 
Uh, that was heavy. Took forever. Total adventure style, fully. The funny thing is that I was not really expecting this to happen today. I was kind of in the mood to go to scout and stuff, but this Kular, well, it's in the list of Arctic lines very easily. I might come back later someday to ride it pow a bit faster, but all in all, a cool adventure. Yeah, this is one of those days. It ain't over until it's over. <laughs> Oman laatuista tarpaamista. <laughs> oh, now I'm like, remember why I started this project. <laughs> this is the best thing. You go in and you explore and you find something and you experience it for the first time. It's so cool. Meikä pitää, mulla on tää tapa, pitää koskettaa autoa, että voi lopettaa harjoituksen. Tänään teimme noin kuusi tuntia. Definitely coming back here. Already found two really nice looking lines that I'd like to try. Not gonna happen this season because it's too late, but next winter. I would say that the stay in Kular was a perfect introduction for this area. This stuff here, that's on a level where um, you need a little bit more snow and uh, yeah, maybe a bit more climbing skills too. <laughs> When you go from winter straight into the spring where you hardly see any snow, the motivation can be quite low, especially when it's very cloudy. In some sense, I have to thank Frederick for being more motivated than me to go check the line. I definitely was more like, let's go have a coffee style feeling. Se oli hauska. Kyllä. Se oli ihan mahtava itse asiassa. My name is Nick Russell and I live in Lake Tahoe, California. Perfect powder above the ocean, golden light. Oh yeah, super easy.